America is entering a very dark place. Every night I get this message that we have a curfew on my phone. I'm just sitting here, what is going on? And today I was thinking, who is really being harmed here? It's small businesses. It's not the large businesses, the, it's the small businesses that are being harmed, that are being looted, that are being shut down. Well, I guess Target went through that. Supposedly with the white lady who was an employee who wasn't actually looting. You know, I was sitting there thinking, why is all of this going on? First, we have the coronavirus, which creates this shutdown. And then once this is starting to fade, because people are pretty much just like, I'm gonna go out and live my life. I'm gonna do what I need to do. Then, bam, this happens. Is it a coincidence? Is this normal? I feel, because you know, there are many of y'all that are pushing back on me because you just cannot conceive that the United States of America is not the number one economy, number one country in the world. You just can't conceive it, I get that. That's what you've been indoctrinated with. Make America great again. America, home of the brave, land of the free. I get that. But what you guys don't understand is there is a global reset. Ask yourself, why do we have 25% unemployment and Germany has 5%? Now, part of that is Germany makes stuff. Germany is one of the wealthiest countries in Europe because of Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, Audi, they make stuff. But why is that? Why do we have, and this is one of the things that's happening, unemployment is still going up. It's not going down. Uh, I will be interested in looking at the numbers for May, but we still had massive layoffs all through the month of May, even though the states were opening. I want you to understand that. This is a plan. This is being done deliberately. For what reason, I don't know. And, you know, more importantly, we know that something foul is afoot. We know that many things are happening. How do we fight back? That's the question. Because right now, these protesters, these riots, they're ongoing and they're getting more and more violent. They're getting more and more crazy. And how do we fight against that? I have a few theories, I have a few ideals. First, of one, first thing is you've got to control the narrative. And this is one of the things that's going against the protesters. Protesters are out, they're peacefully assembling, and then you have these agents of agitation and the narrative completely gets flipped. They're not peaceful protesters, they're rioters. They're, they're agents of destruction. So you got to control the narrative. And like I said in my last video, if you don't have to be out, don't go out. Going out can put you in harm's way. Just being out, just, you know, like trying to get a vibe for what's going on, trying to get a feel, just being out. You could get into some, a lot of trouble. They were arresting news anchor crews. The police have lost their damn mind. The police in New York were literally running people over. There was a cop on a horse. He walked, he ran this horse over this girl. So everybody is buck wild right now. It is unprecedented. And once again, the coronavirus is still out there. I'm going to be interested in seeing what happens two weeks from now. Because you know it takes two weeks for it to do its thing. It's going to be real interesting. And if that doesn't happen, what's that another lie that we were told? Also, I feel that this being done intentionally because coming from Congress, the Senate, we're, we're going to sit back. We're not going to cut another stimulus check. We're, we're going to do what we're going to do. And now there are some Democrats who are saying the same thing. I've told you guys in the live streams, there's not going to be another check. 
they're, they're, they're just trying not to do it. And the further we go down this thing, the worse it gets. And for the folks who think that we're going to have a V-shaped recovery, did you count on this rioting stuff? Did you count on these businesses being destroyed and burned? Because I kind of figured some bad stuff was going to keep happening. One of the things I've done on this channel for the last few years is tell you what is about to happen, how it's going to happen, and it's happened. It's happened. There will not be no V-shaped recovery. It's going to be a long, slow, agonizing recovery that if you're positioned, if you are in the right spot, you can make a lot of money. So that's part of the good news. And like, the question is, how do you get in the right spot? You need to be on the internet. If you're not on the internet or you don't have some heavy internet experience, because this is where the money's being made, the internet. You gotta position yourself, you gotta retrain yourself, you got to rebook yourself. And also, if you're one of these people out here protesting, ask yourself this question. How does protesting further along my personal economic agenda? See, we all have only 24 hours. That's it. No one gets 36. No one gets 42. We all have 26, 24 hours in the day. And there are some people who do much more with their 24 hours than others. And you know, I understand that it was a heart-wrenching thing to see this cop on this man's neck, killing this man, draining the life out of him. I, I get that. It's horrible. It's terrible. But what are you doing to further along your economic agenda? Because I'm here to tell you, with the darkness of America, it's going to be about economics. You're going to see classification, the separation of the classes like you've never seen before. And we have a whole bunch of people who are about to move to the lower strata because we just can't have two American type economies on the globe. We just can't have that. And if you don't want to be part of the, if you don't want to be part of the lower strata, you're going to have to climb up into the 9.9%. And someone asks like, what do you need to, you need to make $250,000 a year to get into the 9.9%. That's going to be your way station to becoming a millionaire and to, you know, going further along. You got to get there first because the badlands, the darkness right now, I'm, I'm like, I've never in my life seen so many white people rioting. Literally, there's so many of them that the news can't hide it. Like there's one news like she oh, she's possibly an employee. No, she was a thief. She was rioting. She was looting. There's so many images of white people looting and rioting and causing destruction that the media can't hide it. And as much as they try to reframe it, well, you know, maybe she's an employee. That's BS. She was a rioter. And you got to ask yourself, why are so many white people rioting? They fed up. Many white people have woken up to the realization that being white is no longer the protective privilege it used to be. It's just not. It's not going to save you from the darkness of America. It's not going to save you from becoming, going down a few rungs on the economic ladder. It just ain't. And they're mad. They're upset. Because this has happened before. If you go back to the turn of the century in Ellis Island, we had the Italians, we had the Irish people coming over, and they were not white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, WASP. These were the original white people in America. And they were treated like black folks. This is why you had so many Irish men become firefighters, because that's the only job they could get. Because they were not, they were being treated like black folks, like, oh, you could do this and you could live in this neighborhood because you're not a wasp. And th th they got really irritated and they, 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 they started fighting back and they just, 
This is the second time that white people have been treated like black folks and they don't like it. They don't like it at all. And this is, we, we've reached the, the tipping point. We're boiling. We have come to a point of no return. And what I feel is gonna happen, at some point, the riot and the protest are gonna die out. They're gonna go away. I don't know when, but the economic carnage, cause see, the thing is, I want you to understand what has happened to the American economy. The American economy has been punched. This ain't helping. These riots, this destruction, it's like body blows to someone that's been already knocked out. America's already been on the canvas two, three times. Now, getting this body work, taking these body blows. Like, if you got stock in insurance companies, you might want to sell. Because insurance companies are going to be paying out the yin-yang. Cars, businesses, personal property, medical bills. It's going to be insane. But how does one protect themselves? Because, you know, where I'm at, there are no riots. Because I live around a bunch of wealthy people. Now, some of these people may be part of the agents of agitation. I don't know. You know, I, I really don't know anything anymore because I can tell you that all this stuff has intentionally been planned. By who? Don't know. But it's definitely a formation of a plan. And right now, we are in deep doo-doo. Because, first of all, we already had 10 to 12 million small businesses that were going to close. This activity is going to increase that number. We're going to have more people lose their businesses, go under, file bankruptcy because of these acts that are going on right now. I want you to think about that. It is unfathomable. It is crazy what is happening. And it's going to keep going on because like I said, this is a plan to derank America to destroy America from the inside out. Like I said, Germany, these other, Australia, these other countries, Canada, their economies did not get hit as hard as we did. Well, part of that is because I've been telling you guys for three years that the great American economy wasn't as strong as you were led to believe. And if this ain't proof positive, I don't know what is. So, we're going to be in this situation where there are people. And also, let's going to talk about there, there's going to be a group of people who are going to ascend. These are going to be business owners. These are going to be people who are positioned. These are going to be people who have not lost their way. There's going to be a bunch of people who are going to ascend into a higher economic social class. Is that going to be you? Because I'm telling you right now on Facebook, I, I'm not really that active on Facebook right now. I post some here and there because it's just the temperature, you know, where people are. I'm seeing so many people who are hurt, who are just going through it because of what's going on. So it isn't the time for me to be posting on Facebook about economic self-reliance. That would be really tone deaf. You know, I'm gonna have to wait a minute to really go in there, but this is my YouTube channel and this is what I talk about. You're gonna to have to begin building and working on your economic agenda. Or this thing could like literally destroy your family for the next three to four generations. Understand what I just said. Let's say your name is John and your wife is Susan and you both got laid off. And now they're starting evictions again. So you get evicted. You don't have no job, you don't have no money. Now you got evicted. Where are you gonna go? Hopefully you can move in with friends and family. If that ain't the case, you're gonna be sleeping in your car with your two little kids. Van life, people living in cars, is about to explode. 
because once they start cranking up these eviction proceedings across the country, there are many people who are going to get evicted. There are some people who are two, three months behind on rent. If you're in the position, make sure you pay your rent because they ain't playing. They will get you up out of there. And then you will enter into this economic no man's land. You have no job. You have no place to stay. Do you understand one of the hardest issues that homeless people have is having a home address? If you don't have a home address, it is so hard to do business with the government. It, it, it's just really hard to do business with anyone if you don't have a home address. I know it sounds like a simple thing and this is something you've taken for granted, but I'm here to tell you that's a problem for homeless people. So here you are in this situation where you have literally been struck down and then you're, you're going to be raising your kids up in this mess and they're going to learn these behaviors that's going to keep them at that social economic class. The global reset is real. It is so real. And I'm just sitting here watching what's happening. I'm just like, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Because do some research, check out the economies of other countries and you will see they didn't get hit as bad as we did. And you got to ask yourself, why? You know, Sweden didn't lock down and they're going to go through a recession, but they're, you know, it's like just reading up about these economies, reading about their GDP, reading about how they're weathering this stuff better than we are. And also we have exported some of these riots to these other countries. They're having protests in London and some other places because people are fed up. People are sick and tired. They're like, look, you told me to stay home for two, three months. You told me not to go to work. Now you're not going to give me no money. You're not going to provide an additional stimulus check. You're not going to help me in my time of need. And America's cold. It's so cold. The game in America is so cold that we have a Congress that will let people starve for political games. That's where we're heading. This is what's going on, because right now I'm starting to see the stimulus check video content makers starting to like, cut us a check. You guys need to do, I mean, we got people starting here. They're starting to talk about what's going on in other countries. They're starting to see like, well, it doesn't have to be like this. And it really doesn't. The Fed is about to start lending small businesses money. But if you don't make 500,000 a year, you ain't, getting, you ain't getting access to that money. And many small businesses don't make half a million a year. So this is gonna be a bunch of other folks who are gonna be left out they will not be able to get access to this money. I remember when um, he owns the Weather Channel. I can see his face. I think it's Robert Townsend. He owns the Weather Channel, and he said there was $22 trillion worth of money available, but most people could not access it because they didn't know how the game was played. Here's another game. And that money for the, the, the Fed, the Main Street, it ain't going to last long. It's going to be gone in less than two weeks. And it'll be another missed opportunity. Because you have to look at who's being taken care of. We can't get any additional money for essential workers. We can't get any additional money, you know, and like I, I really feel that July 31st, the additional $600 per week is going to disappear and you're just gonna to have to live on whatever your state's unemployment rate is. I mean, it's about to be a cold, cold winter in uh, America. Because see, it ain't, it, it's, it's bad right now, but right now things are kind of propped up because of the additional $600 per week Watch what happens when that disappears. Watch when people hit the economic bricks. Watch what happens. Because like I said, you know, I understand that many of you are protesting. I get it. 
but you got to ask yourself, how does this activity further along my economic agenda? You got to ask yourself that question because what it's going to be about in the foreseeable future is about economics. It's going to be about putting together an economic plan to protect you and your family. That's what it's going to be about. And there are so many people who are missing that because they caught up in their feelings. They're out here rioting, they're out here walking around, they're looting. That is not going to be the thing. Because right now, you need to be working on an economic agenda. You need to be doing stuff right now that is going to further your finances. I know this may seem tone deaf with everything that's going on in the world. I'm here to tell you the truth. Because if you're not working on your economic future, it's going to be dark. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be generational. See, what we're having right now is a generational event. This is not just going to hit you and your wife, Susan. This is going to hit your kids, their kids and their kids. We're going to have people who are going to move into generational poverty. Van, like I said, van life, car life, the number of people. These videos were extremely popular on YouTube before the pandemic. Now you got people right now planning how they're going to live in their car, how they're going to live in their van. They're making plans to do that right now. So what is your plan? What is your economic plan? Because if you don't have one, you better get one soon. You better get one soon because the lights in America are starting to go out one by one. All these little tiny lights that represent humanity, little by little, they're getting dimmer. They're starting to go out and people are going to languish and perish in the darkness. I want you to understand what I'm saying is so serious. It is so crazy. It is so much that is going to happen to so many people. Like I said, there's going to be a group of people who will ascend. They're going to make more money than they've ever made before in their life. They're going to start living a lifestyle that you can only dream about. Do you want to be one of those people? Because if you do, go below, get 30 days to 2,500. And this is going to give you the foundational aspect of starting a business. And then I'm going to do a webinar next week for how to make money from scratch. There's already a webinar that's done, so you can go below and get that too. Because one of the things I want you to understand is it is real possible for you to avoid the darkness. It's very possible for you to, to avoid it. But you got to get your mind right. You got to get busy. You've got to become activated. Because one of the things that is going to happen, if you're not careful, is you're going to slide. And it ain't going to be sliding up. If you're not careful, if you don't pay attention, you're going to slide. And it's going to be ugly. And it's going to be bad. So what I want you to do is go below, get 30 days, 2,500, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success, and also get the how to start a business from scratch, because that's the graduation course of 30 days to 2,500. Because, you know, what we're having is an unprecedented move toward entrepreneurship because people will not be entrepreneurs of choice. They will be entrepreneurs of force. Because there won't, there won't be nothing else out there for them. They won't be able to get a job. So they're going to have to create their own job. You're going to have to create your own business. You're going to have to create your own economy. Because the resetting of America, the destruction of America from within, it's real. It's the craziest thing. I mean, you know, I've been talking about the economy was weak. But this whole thing is so diabolical. 
I don't know if China's behind it. I don't know if Russia's behind it. But understand, there is a third hand that's stirring the pot, that's creating a lot of this collateral damage, and it's, 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 it's amping up. So for you to avoid the darkness in America, you're going to have to be working on your economic agenda. You're going to have to be working quick, hard, and fast on your economic agenda. That's what you're going to have to do because it's just not going to get better. It's not going to um, just magically get better. It's gonna get worse and worse and worse. And what I'm waiting on is the fall. Because at this point, the additional $600 per week is gonna be gone. Then you're gonna to have people who are gonna be living on less money than they used to make when they were working. It's gonna be bad unless you take action and begin working on your economic agenda. That's the only way that I see out of this because you're gonna have whole communities that are going to be shifted down. Whole communities. Your kid, the only, only, only way your kid's gonna be going to public school if you're poor. This is something that's been going on in this country for a long time, charter schools and everything. If, you're, if you're, your kid's going to public school, you're gonna be poor. And that's just going to be a breeding ground for bad habits, lack of networking, because no one is in a position to do anything for anybody. I mean, this is so bad. But you can develop an economic agenda and you can run counter to the trend. Yes, you can, you can do it. And you're going to have to do it. So that's all I got for you guys today. Be sure to get your courses and be sure to watch this next video.